and we're back. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah. I focus on creating DIY and home decor here on this channel. And if you're interested in that, please consider giving me a subscribe. Today we are going to be learning how to make an awesome do-it-yourself furrow pillow. It's super easy. I just used all materials that I had lying around my house and some old fabric and I was able to kind of recreate my living room and it was honestly, I think it turned out pretty good. Okay, so I basically have these really cheap, horrible pillows from Walmart. They're like five bucks and they're totally falling apart. So I don't want them anymore. <laughs> so these are my ugly pillows. We're going to make better ones. So I found this cute fabric on um, Fabric Mart for like four bucks. They're going to need your scissors. Um, I found a chopstick was useful and also like blade cutters. And then of course you're going to need your pillows or some kind of um, stuffing that you want to use for your pillows so yeah okay so first thing you're gonna do is if you already have like a pillow that you kind of want the same size I just went ahead and measured this one because it was like pretty much the size that I wanted um, but just decide like how big you want your pillow to be and then of course you're going to cut your fabric oh my gosh I love this tropical like black and white print I just think it's so pretty I've been obsessed with tropical prints lately. Oh my gosh, it was so hard to cut this way, like with the camera above. I don't know, I was struggling. Okay, so once you have your piece cut out, um, you can place the pieces right sides together. And oh my gosh, I love this print. I think it turned out so cute. So once you cut that piece out, you can actually just use it as a pattern on your other piece. I love this bright tropical one. I think it has a nice contrast with the black and white, um, but they're both just so fun. And then, yeah, you can just use that as a pattern. So then you have two pillows, exact same size, and they're gonna turn out so cute. So in this old pillow, I cut it open and I found that it actually has a, um, pre-stuffed pillow in it um, and I'll show you how to make one as well but luckily for this that means I can just throw that in my cover and it's really easy so I cleaned it up a little bit you can also buy these pre-made um, it makes it stuffing the pillow a little bit easier or you can just also cut open an old pillow and just use the stuffing in there or you can go to the store and buy stuffing as well doesn't matter they all do the same thing so now you're gonna sew your cover. Um, sew just three edges. Um, I found it easier to sew onto the fourth edge, just like one or two inches in on each corner. That way the corner is gonna be nice um, and taut. Cause if you try and do, try and close it once the stuffing's all in and the corner is not sewed, it makes it really difficult. And then I just use a chopstick or something pointy to get all the edges in. Um, nice and pointy so you do that on all of them so to make your own pillow cover if you want this to go inside of the pillow I just took this is like the old pillowcase so I just cut it to the size you want this one to be one inch larger than your cover because that's gonna make it more plump um, when you put it in so it's gonna make it more of a it's gonna make it more of a poofy pillow which I like better. I, I like poofy pillows more. Okay. So yeah, you're just gonna stuff it and use the chopstick to get all the cracks and crevices, get all the <laughs> little corners stuffed in there. Or you can just do the traditional way, I guess, or you can just throw stuffing in there um, without a white cover and just stuff your pillow that way. Honestly, I actually prefer the cover because it feels a little bit more high end. And then also if you ever want to take off the current like cover that you have for the pillow, it's really easy. And then you just take out the pre-made pillow. To do an invisible stitch, you need to come up from the back side of the fabric, go directly across down back into the fabric. While you're underneath, you're going to continue forward about a centimeter and then come back up, go across, 
down, underneath, up, down, underneath, you know, and then you're just going to be continuing doing that, but just alternating the side. It's a very simple stitch, and I'm sorry that my drawing sucks, but I hope you get the idea. <laughs> so I'm just going to show that here. So I'm going down through the fabric, and then you come back up. And then you're simply going to go across to the other side, go down through the fabric and back up on the other side. So you're just going to do that basically back and forth until finally you reach the end, basically. And that finalizes the pillow and you're ready to go. watching today's video if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel because I'm going to be making new crafting videos every week um, if you have any suggestions of upcoming projects that you would like to see please leave me a comment down below and I will try to get to it all right thank you so much bye